Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about three stocks. Firstly, we're going to start off with HCMC and then we're talking about two stocks. One has already returned over 40% in just a matter of a week. Another stock that has gone exactly into the right position where we can do our setup. This is looking at around 70% swing trade and everyone probably already know what the stock is, but make sure you watch until the very end because I think there are great opportunities again. But like I said, guys, we're going to start off with healthier choices management, take some more HCMC. MC. As always, guys, show your support for HMC and the two other stocks that's coming up. Some sort of support by clicking that like button down below. At any point in the video, if you found it useful or enjoyed it, make sure to click that subscribe button down below. None of this is financial advice. Do take one after the yourself. Make sure you do your own due diligence and research. And without any further ado, let's get straight into the video. So again, we're talking about HMC first. And let's talk about kind of the sentiment with HMC right now. So today we have a red day. Now, Barcoding HMC is extremely normal. This is something we expect to see. If you guys go on stock two right now, you guys will see a lot of bearish comments, a lot of negative comments where they're calling HMC a scam, where they say HMC can go bankrupt. Again, guys, we know that these comments come every so often. Like I said, guys, when we get a catalyst, so in this case, the recent CEO letter that we have talked about, we obviously see more buyers coming to HMC and then we see a lot of bullish comment. But now that there is no more news, when time goes by, definitely more and more people are not going to be able to crack that pressure where there is no news and they're going to say that HMC is obviously game over. They're going to be extremely negative on HMC. And so it's extremely normal right now for us to see sellers. You know, these are the people who generally just can't take the pressure of not seeing any news. Everyone already know the game right now for HMC. Approach it with two perspectives. The first perspective, if you're trying to swing trade this, you know, you're waiting for a catalyst maybe every two months, every three months. Sometimes there's some technical catalysts, some, some technical breakouts where it can happen. And you can look for, you know, the 100% swing trade, the 50, 80% swing trade, sometimes even 300%. Some examples are obviously, you know, buying at this. And we knew from a technical perspective and a sentiment perspective that people are going to buy it up. This was a 500% swing trade that you could have took. Another opportunity is obviously down here when you hit 0 0.0001 again, where if you look up, it's around a 200% swing trade that you could have took. You know, these are the opportunities that will come every so often for HMC. And so if that's your perspective, then, you know, your eye should be when HMC drops down to that 0 0.001. So if anything, when you see HMC have a red day, you kind of want to hope that there's a red day after that. Does that mean I want to see HMC drop all the time? No. The second perspective is obviously the long-term perspective. We have talked about what they have coming up. With the 28 million cash they have, they can do buybacks, they can make more acquisitions, they can improve their vaping products. The vaping industry we talked about is a massive industry that's gonna grow at around 27% compound annual growth rate. It's expected to be a massive industry. And if HMC are able to get into that industry, obviously they will benefit and profit a lot. And so, you know, with them doing this, they're obviously able to grow. And so the second perspective is wait, you know, two years, three years, four years, five years, or the minimum at least a year where you will see obviously share price going back up and so right now even if we are seeing red it shouldn't really matter to you because one day two day three days of red isn't going to affect you if you're looking at this in a one year two year three year perspective you know always make sure you understand the perspective you are looking at the time frame you're looking at and so a lot of people are kind of having that mindset of i want to see hmc go up to this amount in a year in two years but yet they're getting so affected by kind of the daily movement where that doesn't matter you know essentially they can make moves like this but the moment there's a catalyst you're going to see hmc going up but for the people that obviously look at it with a short-term perspective then when hmc is going red it's not the end of the world because if anything, you want to make sure you can buy HMC at the lowest price possible. If that is your plan, again, none of this is financial advice. You know, if you're buying it at here 0 0.002, firstly, it's probably extremely hard for your orders to get filled. Uh, if it is filled, when you get kind of up here, it's extremely hard for your orders to get filled up here trying to sell. But if you were to obviously go one tick above, so normally the bottom being at this particular um, area, but if you go one tick above, 
buy it kind of here you know it's gonna be easier to obviously fill to get that buy order and if you sell sell it one tick below you know we're still looking at around 120 130 percent gain this is obviously much easier to achieve and so again with the price going down it should go play actually play into your favor if you're a short-term perspective kind of swing trade day trading guy most likely swing trade because it's unlikely for hmc had to have massive movements in a day there are obviously days where it does but normally it doesn't and you know again another good reason for why the price is going down this is for both short term and long term is now obviously we could be looking at that potential buyback and again end of the day buyback and retiring of shares will be kind of the ultimate catalyst for hmc right now if we're not talking about lawsuit included so again you know for me there's nothing to worry worrying about i am both a short-term and long-term perspective you know i'm okay in the short term in terms of the fact that you know i have talked about multiple opportunities firstly i talked about how this is obviously an opportunity whether you want to swing trade whether you want to average down your share price you know this again like i said guys 500 percent, you know 400 percent and then again, when we saw the price drop down to 0 0.001, everyone there was saying HTMC was a scam. Everyone there saying HTMC was going to go bankrupt. I made a video saying it wasn't going to bankrupt. I backed it up with facts. And I also talked about, again, if you guys are willing to swing trade, if you guys are willing to average down your shares, this is obviously the price to look at. You know, make sure you do your own due diligence into it. And again, you know, you're looking at that 200% gain. Anyway, guys, that's it for the HTMC. Now we're moving on to Eyeless. Eyeless had an extremely good day today. We went up 19.77%. This is one of the trades that I called out on my actual channel. This was the trade I also talked about in my Discord as well, but mostly I talked about it on my channel. So make sure you guys click that notification bell so you never miss out a video. We talked about Eyeless here at 0 0.2227, where I talked about this is probably gonna be the low for Eyeless. So make sure you, know, you look around this area. Now, if you were to buy here, you know there were different plans to trade. One of the examples I gave was selling it in three portions. The first portion, so a third of it, sell it, you know, at 0 0.2570, the next kind of area of resistance. In this case, it's acting as support now for a 15% gain. Then you guys can see I marked it out. Guys, check out my previous video so you know I'm not doing this after it's been done. I've been talking about this. I talked about resistance in this area. And so the next trade you want to look at, the next third is selling it around at this area, you know, which is a 40% gain. So if you're looking at a 40% gain, this is the 40% gain. And then the last third, you can move your price up now to 0 0.227. You can move your stop loss to 0 0.2570. You're still going to be making a profit or break even. But the next and the last third, we're obviously looking at the 50 MA where we're looking at a 60% gain. Now, obviously, if you want to maximize it, you're still holding on to your shares and that's up to you. You know, even if you sold it all at 40%, that's extremely good on you. But again, that was just an example I gave. But, you know, this is just an example of how well technical analysis plays into Eyeless right now and how whilst you can invest in Eyeless for the long term, and that is definitely a good decision. But in the short term, if you want to make extra money on top of that, swing trading is obviously the option. And, you know, I'm giving these swing trades out for free on my channel. All you have to do is watch, obviously watch the video, understand what I'm saying. And yeah, guys, again, you know, 40% swing trade in just a matter of if, depending on where you guys obviously bought it, you know, I talked about how it's extremely bullish on this particular day. So in just a matter of kind of um, nine trading days, actually nine days, six trading days, you know, we've gone up 40%. Again, bullish engulfing, you know, hitting it on the support, all very bullish signals. And right now we are facing a resistance. So holding onto that third or whatever you're holding onto, you know, just make sure you understand what's gonna happen next. Of course, I'll be making videos reacting to it as well and telling you guys what I think. But so far it's obviously okay. Again, a very bullish day today. RSI, everything picking up. Extremely bullish, extremely nice for Eyeless. And if you guys caught onto this opportunity, comment down below about if you guys caught and managed to catch this opportunity. And lastly, we're talking about Cyberlox Corp. Now, Cyberlox Corp, another stock that I've mentioned, and I said in that video, was 0.0218, and I remain to think that and state this, I think it's a good level, obviously, whether you want to swing trade, whether you want to average down your shares, I did say that it's extremely likely for the price of CYBL to drop to 0.0191. You can see, guys, we actually closed at 0.0193, post market at 0.0192, with the resistance at 0.0191. This is its blue line. Multiple reasons. Firstly, you know, we were going to see some sell off that's extremely normal, but also because the 200 MA, we haven't touched the 200 MA 
in over half a year now and so this is something that was expected to happen and now we've hit the support so cybl is looking at one of the biggest opportunities right now in terms of a swing trade obviously if you want to average down your shares price for the long term you know feel free to do so but at the current price right now you know we are looking at if you manage to buy at 0 0.0191 if you had to buy all the stuff then again feel free to do the free options where firstly getting rid of a third of your shares at 0 0.0218 and then the next third, getting it at, getting rid of it at the 50 MA. And finally, and this is one of the longest swing trades where we're looking at 0 0.0320. This will be slightly harder because of the 50 MA. Um, this will obviously be a 70% swing trade. This will be harder because the 50 MA will act as a resistance. But another reason why I really like this trade is because we do manage to get the 50 MA breakout. So we touch the 50 MA, we actually reverse the MA, meaning we break out on top of it. We're going to be seeing a large momentum. We're going to be seeing that MA breakout and ultimately you know when you see something like an ma breakout i guess can see here a fake and then we used it as support and then we broke all the way up again you guys can see it in you know, multiple times where we broke the 50 ma and then we've gone up extremely nicely again we guys can see the same movement over here if we do break it you know then it's actually going to go even above in my opinion above 0 0.0320 potentially we could be looking at a trade all the way from 0 0.0191 all the way up to 0 0.375, which is almost a 100% swing trade, depending on obviously where you get it at. So I think that's extremely good setup. Anyway guys, comment down below what you guys think about these setups, comment down below what you guys wanna see next. On with that, enjoy your day.